Robin Martin here with you today. I'm excited to lead you through a hip opening flow. We carry a lot of tension and a lot of emotions in our hips. So getting into the hips and opening up just is a wonderful release. I'm looking forward to this flow. I hope you enjoy it as well. And we are gonna start today in child's pose, which is a wonderful hip opener in and of itself. So bring your big toes to touch and start to spread your knees nice and wide. Draw your heart down towards the mat as you reach your arms forward. And just relax, relax your forearms down into the mat, relax your forehead into the mat, and start to soften your tail towards your heels. Begin to notice your breath. Notice the quality of the breath, the length of the inhales and the exhales, and start to slow things down. Breathe in and out through your nose, Ujjayi Pranayama, and maintain that breath throughout the entire 20 minute practice. Press in through the palms, slide the shoulders back away from the ears. And then take a really big inhale breath through your nose so you can spread your lungs nice and wide, huge, big inflating, stretching your skin, stretching the ribs and the intercostal muscles. And then as you exhale the breath, soften, sink. See if you can draw your tail a little closer to your heels. Imagine as if you just grew your spine two inches in length. And then on your next inhale breath, rise up to all fours. Come into a tabletop position, stack your joints. Bring your hands under the shoulders, knees under the hips. Start to spread fingers nice and wide and root down through all the knuckles of the hands. As you inhale the breath, drop your belly, shine your tail. We're gonna take a few rounds of cat and cow to warm up the spine, so just start to lift your heart. Maybe lifting the chin, and then as you exhale the breath, round in. Start to broaden the upper back as you drop your tail, drop your head. Inhale through your cow spine. So really shiny tail, exaggerate the movement, really lift up. And then exhale, round and compress. Then come back to neutral. We're gonna take just a couple of hip circles over to the right. So start to send your hips to the right. Then come all the way back, not all the way into child's pose, but kind of halfway back. And then all the way back a little bit forward. One more circle to the right and come around to the left. Then back to center. You're gonna feel a little stretch in the outer hip. The glute medius right on the outside as you come around. So one more circle to the left all the way around all the way back to center. Start to walk your hands forward about six to eight inches, tuck your toes, drop your belly, shine your tail, rise your hips to the sky, downward facing dog. Soften into downward dog, heels sink back towards the back of your mat or the back of your practice space. Elbows draw forward, shoulders externally rotate slightly, thighs internally rotate slightly, creating space in your low back to broaden. Lots of room and then start to bend your knees. Relax your head and neck, nod your head around if it feels good. So soft and relaxed, aligned. Lots and lots of breath. Come back to downward facing dog. Bring your big toes to touch point, all 10 toes to the right and bend your knees again to stretching the outer hip here. Outer right hip as you bend deep, sending your knees low hips high, pressing back and then come all the way back to center. Point toes left, same thing, bend deep, sink deep. Feeling the stretch in your outer left hip all the way down the outer left side of the body and then coming back to center. Inhale your right leg up and back. Soften your heart towards your left thigh. Soften your left heel down, big stretch all the way down the back of your left leg. And then bend your knee, roll the hip open. So start to stack your right hip on top of the left as you soften your left heel, squeeze your heel towards your tail and then start to square the hips Draw your knee to your nose, keep your hips high, send your knee over to the right, all the way up and back. So just a big hip circle with the knee. Draw the knee in, all the way up and around, and then switching directions, knee comes all the way out to the side, draw the knee towards the nose, all the way up and back, and one more big hip circle. So warming up the hips, lots of lubrication in the hip joint, and then come all the way back to downward facing dog. Inhale your left leg up and back. So same thing, second side, starting with the square hip, and then bend your knee, roll the hip open, hugging your heel towards your tail, stacking the hips, start to soften your right heel down. Draw your heart towards your right thigh, right thigh is active. And then from here, start to draw your knee to your nose. Send your knee all the way open, all the way up and back, so just big hip circles. Knee comes in, but the hips stay high, so you stay in the downward dog shape. You're just really moving the leg and that's about it, and then switching directions, coming all the way open to the left. All the way back, and one more round. Warming up the hips. 
Then send your left leg long, three-legged dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. From downward dog, shift forward to plank. Pause and plank. Make sure your shoulders are above the wrists, fingers are spread wide, belly draws in. And then bring your knees down to the mat. Modified chaturanga. Exhale, elbows stay close to the ribs as you come all the way down your belly. Untuck the toes, reach your legs long, pull your belly up, tailbone is long, and then roll the heads of the shoulders back and down, Bhujangasana, low cobra. Exhale, lower the forehead. Tuck your toes, downward facing dog. Come into down dog, bring your big toes to touch, inhale your right leg up and back. As you exhale the breath, step your right foot forward, left foot follows, forward fold, top of the mat. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold, separate your feet, hip width distance. Put a soft bend in the knees, interlace fingers behind your back. Then start to lift your heart. Start to work your spine long, tabletop, and then as you exhale the breath, forward fold, gentle rinse of the shoulders. You can press palms together to intensify the stretch. You can create space between the palms to deepen the stretch. Work the legs a little straighter, opening the back of the, of the legs, maybe rocking the weight forward to get a little deeper into the hamstrings, and then soft bend in the knees. Sweep your arms high, come into an Utkatasana shape. Your fierce pose, chair pose, sink a little lower, and then exhale, come all the way up to standing. Inhale, reach your arms high. Exhale, lead with the heart as you forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, plant your hands, step back to downward facing dog. So come into down dog, and just come back to your breath in your downward facing dog. Bring your big toes to touch. Inhale, your right leg up and back. Exhale, bend, then you roll the hip open. Inhale, straighten your leg. Exhale, draw your knee to your right elbow. Or go a little higher, go for the tricep. Inhale, up and back. Exhale, send your knee across the body for a gentle twist. And then inhale all the way up and back. Exhale, step your right foot forward. Come into a runner's lunge. And start to reach your heart forward as you sink a little deeper into this lunge. And you want to keep your knee lined up with your ankle, but you're working the stretch in the front of your left hip. So the left hip flexor gets the stretch as you sink, reach your heart long. As you exhale the breath, start to work your right leg straight around the spine. Keep your two hips level on top. Inhale, sink down, lengthen. Exhale, send your hips high round in. Inhale, one more time, lengthen. Exhale, send the hips high, stay here. Maybe you reach your hands down a little bit deeper, send. Start to send your sit bones back a little further and then reach your heart forward. Slide your shoulder blades back away from your ears and on your exhale breath, soften. That doesn't necessarily mean bring your torso all the way down, it just means soften into the hamstring. Breathing here and then on your next inhale breath, bend your right knee, take your left knee all the way down, reach your arms high, moon pose. This will get nice and deep into the left hip flexor. So if your knee goes beyond your ankle with your back knee down, it's perfectly safe. So you can sink nice and deep and then start to activate your inner thighs. Maybe you lift up a little bit out of the lunge. Inner thighs are active, creates stability. A lot of stretch right in the front of the left hip. Breathing deeply here, lengthening through the sideways. Take one more inhale breath. And as you exhale, plant your hands. Send your right leg all the way up and back. One more time, exhale, bend the knee, roll the hip open. Inhale, straighten your leg. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, your left leg high. So starting with the square hip, and then as you exhale, bend it, roll it open. Draw your heel towards your tail. Inhale, straighten the leg. Exhale, knee to left. Go for the shoulder, go high. Use the core, inhale up and back. Exhale, knee across the body, gentle twist. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, step your left foot between your hands, runner's lunge. So first, just start to sink down. Track the knee over the ankle. Sink a bit so you feel the stretch in the front of your right hip, the right hip flexor, and then start to draw your heart forward. By sliding the shoulder blades back, lengthening the spine, then as you exhale, round in. Compress. Inhale, lengthens. Exhale, round in. So we took three rounds on the first side. Same with the second side, runner's vinyasa. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale to round in. This time, keeping the hips high, maybe flattening the palms. Start to reach your sit bones back. So taking the round out of spine. Sit bones draw back, heart reaches forward, shoulder blades slide back, and then softening on the exhale breath. Breathing into the stretch. Take one more round of breath. So with that exhale breath, allow the steam of the exhale to get right into the fibers of the muscle, and then begin to bend your left knee. Right knee comes down, moon pose. Reach your arms high and start by sinking deep to stretch the front of the right hip. Shoulders are soft, shoulder blades slide down the back. 
and then begin to activate your inner thighs. Hug your left heel back, draw your right knee forward isometrically. So they're not gonna move, but when you squeeze in, you'll lift slightly, creating stability. Soften, and then breathe. Check in with your breath. Slow, controlled inhales and exhales through the nose. One more inhale. And as you exhale, plant your hands. Step back to downward facing dog. Breathe in downward dog, one breath cycle. And a big exhale through your mouth. <sighs> Side out, reset. Bring your big toes to touch. Inhale your right leg up and back. So keeping your hips square to start. Then bend your knee, stack your right hip on top of the left. The right shoulder in line with the left. Squeeze in, inhale, straighten, square your hip. Draw your knee to your nose, round in and gently step. Your foot between your hands, bring your left knee down. And then heel toe your right foot over to the right, about three to four inches, just enough space to get your right hand to the inside of your right foot. So we're gonna move into lizard pose here. It's a wonderful stretch of both the front of the left hip and the outside of the right hip. So this is your base. You can stay right here. You can intensify by coming down to forearms or walking your hands forward or lifting your back knee high. You wanna start to hug your right knee into your right side body. So adduction, squeezing into the midline. See if you can make contact with your knee and your right side, whether it's the shoulder or your side ribs. It's different for everybody. So knee up or down, hands forward, forearms on your palms, whatever works best. Maybe hands are up on a block if you want a little extra support. Breathing here, one more round of breath. And then start to come all the way back to your base. Bring your palms down, back knee comes down, and then heel toe your right foot all the way to the outer edge of the mat, and then roll to the outer edge of your foot. You can keep the back knee down, you can come down to your forearm. You're gonna take your right thumb, point it down, all four fingers roll over the top of the right thigh, and then manually, externally rotate your hip open. So you should feel a really nice stretch down in the outer hip. Breathing here. Just a few more rounds of breath, you can stay right here. If you wanna add a little bit more to your left leg, you can bend the back knee, reach back for that outer edge of the foot that'll give you an external rotation in the shoulder or the inner arch will give you an internal rotation. So whatever feels best for you in your shoulder, maybe drawing your heel towards your tail to intensify the quadriceps stretch or kicking your foot into your hand to get a little deeper into the hip flexor of your left foot. Taking one more round of breath and of course all of this is optional. Lots and lots of options here. Start to take it all the way back. So bring it back to your base, heel toe, your right foot all the way across to the left wrist for a half pigeon pose. So you're gonna start to make your way down. You wanna have your hips square here. So you wanna make sure that the left hip is rolling down and drawing forward and the right hip is drawing back. And that your back leg is straight out behind you, back foot points straight behind the leg. Lifting into your proud pigeon. If you feel yourself collapsing or rolling open a lot in the left hip, tuck something underneath your right hip, a blanket, a pillow, just to lift it a little bit and then start to walk hands forward. One day, maybe the shin is parallel to the top of the mat. You can draw the heel back towards the pelvis if that's too intense. The alignment, that's the integrity of the pose. So you just wanna work those square hips. You can reach your arms forward, maybe resting your forehead on the mat. And sending your breath right into the right hip because it can be really intense. If you have tight hips, this is gonna be a challenging pose to maintain. So just do your best to breathe into the sensation, sending the exhale breath right into the muscle. Just a few more rounds. And start to ease your way out. Take your hands underneath the shoulders, tuck your back toes, and then inhale your right leg up and back. It's a big stretch. Anything you need, maybe another bend of the knee, roll the hip, maybe a hip circle. And then come all the way back to downward facing dog. Pause in your downward dog. Take a breath cycle here. And then bring your big toes to touch. Inhale your left leg high. Exhale, bend, then you roll the hip open. One time, squeeze in. Inhale to straighten. Exhale, step your left foot forward. Right knee comes down. Heel toe your left foot out about three to four inches so you can get your left hand to the inside of your left foot. And then from here, this is your base. This is your base in your lizard pose, and maybe you're getting plenty of stretch right here in the right hip flexor, front of the right hip. You're hugging your left knee into the left side body, breathing. Maybe you're going to intensify by lifting your back leg, by coming down to the forearms, or maybe walking your hands forward. I think this one looks the most like a lizard, so I like to take this variation. <laughs> looks like a little gecko, squeezing your knee in towards the side body, hugging into the midline, lots and lots of breath. 
One more round, big inhale, long, slow exhale, and start to come back to your base. Take your hands underneath the shoulders, bring the back knee down, and then start to heel toe your left foot out to the outer edge of the mat. Rolling the hip open, and then option to stay high. Maybe take the hand to the inside of the thigh, maybe you come down to the right forearm. And take your left hand, thumb points down, fingers roll over the top of the thigh, and then externally rotate with your hand. So giving yourself an adjustment, deepening the stretch of the outer left hip. And it should feel good, it's pretty intense, lots of breath. And staying here, or maybe working the variation with your back foot. Maybe you come up a little higher, makes it a little bit more accessible. Taking the outer edge or the inner arch, depending on the shoulder rotation. Drawing the heel in to intensify the quadriceps stretch. Pressing away to intensify the hip flexor stretch. And start to make your way all the way back. You know, heel toe your right foot all the way across your left foot, pardon me, to your right wrist. So you can come into your half pigeon on your second side and just set it up, right? bringing your leg down and then making sure your back leg is straight out behind you, foot is an extension of the leg straight behind you. And then not worrying whether or not your shin is parallel if it affects your square hip. So drawing your left hip back, bringing the right hip forward and down, maybe supporting your left hip. And then option to walk hands forward, to melt into the pose and breathing into your left hip. Lots and lots and lots of exhale breath right into the sensation in the hip. Just a few rounds of breath here. And begin to make your way all the way out. Hands under the shoulders, tuck your right toes, send your left leg up and back. And just move it, you know, move your leg any way, any direction that feels good. Maybe another bend the knee, roll the hip open or a hip circle, and then make your way all the way back to downward facing dog. Take a breath cycle here. Inhale, rise high under the balls of the feet. Exhale, bend your knees. Make your way through to a seat. Then all the way on to your feet. Coming all the way down. Lengthen your legs. Reach your arms up over your head. Everything is long. And then exhale, knees to chest. Hug in. Give yourself a squeeze. Big squeeze here. And then set your feet down like you're going to set up for a bridge. Cross your right ankle over your left knee. And then lift your left leg, interlace your fingers behind your left thigh, start to press your right elbow into the inner right thigh while you draw your left knee towards you. Take a breath here, final stretch to the outer hip and then we'll take this right to the final twist by setting your left foot down, shifting your hips to the right slightly as you rock all the way down into the twist, staying with that hip opening, maybe pressing your left palm into your right inner thigh and then taking your right arm open to the right gazing to the right if that's okay for your neck. So getting both a spinal twist and another final hip opener, breathing into the sensation, one more round of breath, and then coming all the way out. So coming out the way you came in, one step at a time, back to your bridge setup, your left ankle crosses over the right knee, reaching your right leg high, interlacing fingers behind the right thigh, left elbow, left forearm presses into the inner left thigh while you draw your right knee towards you, pressing your left knee away. Just taking a breath cycle here, and then finally coming into the final twist, setting your foot down, shifting your hips to the left, and then rocking everything over to the right. Everything will rock over to the right, gazing to the left, extending your left arm, be pressing into your inner left thigh to push the knee away. And then sending your exhale breath right into the twist, creating space to go deeper. And coming all the way back to center. First, just come back to your neutral spine. And then draw your two knees in. Give yourself a squeeze. Maybe you come into a tight little ball, bringing your forehead all the way to your knees. And then taking a giant inhale breath here, as much air as you can in this compressed ball. As you exhale, release, relax. Final Shavasana, final resting pose. So as you land, completely surrender. Complete, complete relax. No tension in your face, no tension in your jaw. If your teeth are pressing together, find a little space between your teeth. If your lips are pressing together, a little space between your lips, allow the tongue to fall from the roof of your mouth. Complete, complete relax. Please stay here in Shavasana, your final resting pose, as long as you would like. 
and have a wonderful day.